Hi, this is Jason from Corpse Lord Gaming, and you are watching Chris, the old ass retro gamer. Enjoy, bitch. Hey everybody, Chris the old ass retro gamer here and welcome to day three of the licensed video game challenge. My selection for this was kind of easy. When it comes to an action adventure movie licensed game, one always stands out to me. I played it when it first was released. I'm a fan of the franchise the game is based on, so I immediately gave it a chance. Plus I heard that it switched up the gameplay quite a bit, and that really appeals to me. Don't get me wrong, I like playing games where it's one specific gameplay type the whole time, but when it's varied, I think it has better replay value, and this game certainly had that going for it. Die Hard Trilogy on the PlayStation 1. Welcome to the party, pal! Like I said, I'm a huge fan of this franchise. Some installments more than others. The varied gameplay is what appealed to me and made me want to go and pick this up on day one, which is exactly what I did. So this covers the first three movies in the Die Hard series. Die Hard 1, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. And each film's gameplay style is completely different from the others. When it comes to the original movie, Die Hard, it's an overhead sort of three-quarter view run and gun where you're playing as John McClane running through the Nakatomi Plaza. You're going from floor to floor, taking out terrorists, rescuing hostages, and eventually you get to the roof and take out Hans Gruber. It's really fun. It does ramp up in difficulty quite a bit toward the end. Everything about it feels reminiscent of the movie in which it's based, which is definitely a plus. Sure, the music's not exactly the same, but it does feel like you are playing in an interactive Die Hard film. That's awesome. Yippee ki motherfucker. And that brings us to Die Hard 2 Die Harder, which is a virtual cop style on rails shooter. Sadly, it does not support a light gun. I don't think there actually was one available at the time of this game's release, but you are able to use the PlayStation mouse. Who knew? But you can use the controller, and it responds very, very well. You are once again playing as John McClane. You are going through the Dulles Airport, taking out waves and waves of terrorists, snowmobiles, everything in your path. Get some power-ups along the way. Nothing complicated about it. It's fun. It does get a little tiring after a while because this one is pretty one-note. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. And then finally we come to Die Hard with a Vengeance, which is my personal favorite of all of the games in here. That one is a driving simulation where you are John McClane behind the wheel of a taxi and you are looking for all of the bombs that Simon, the villain of the film, has placed all over New York City. And how do you take out said bombs? You ram them with the front of your car. Are you aiming for these people? No. Oh. Maybe that mine. And that one is just the most fun. It's the fastest paced. You do have a time limit, which kind of sucks, but it's just to keep the tension level high. It's just super, super fun. It controls extremely well. There's a constant stream of things going on, and that's awesome to me. Every time I boot this game up, that's the first game I usually pick to play. And then I go through the cycle of playing the other two. So I kind of go usually from three to one to two. You become a motherfucker. There is also a sequel to this game called Die Hard Trilogy 2 Viva Las Vegas. I do not recommend it. It basically copies this game's MO, but it's not made nearly as well as this one has been, which is very disappointing. But Die Hard Trilogy, wholeheartedly go and pick one up if you haven't already. And there you have it, Day 3, my favorite action-adventure movie license game. What is your favorite license game in the action-adventure film genre? I would love to see people making response videos to this. It would blow my freaking mind. I don't expect it, but it would be cool to see either making them individual videos or one big long video encompassing all 31 days worth of topics. But if not, feel free to just leave the comment below of the game of your choice on this topic. I hope to hear from you soon and stay tuned for tomorrow's new topic. And until then, I am Chris, the old ass retro gamer signing off.